T minus five minutes and counting. Yeah, let's just go for orbiter APU start. And we have a go for APU start. Start. PLT in work. CDR OTC reconfigure heaters. CDR in work. And the launch team has terminated liquid oxygen replenish to the external tank. And the team is now initiating locks drain back. Time clock will hold at T minus four minutes due to a failure. At this point, we have a uh, master alarm. Entity copy. Reports of a master alarm failure. ISL entity. I don't know. Any, any uh, indications of what our anomaly was? Uh, negative, but it looks like the crew uh, reset it uh, if they saw it. And OTC, uh, CDR, we had the master alarm, no indications on the F7 time. And CDR, said CDR copy, and SPG entity. And we are T minus four minutes and holding. Any indications of what may have uh, caused our master alarm? So we're looking right now, and um, unless we can explain it, we have an LCC violation. I copy, and that's LCC ISO 9 06 Contact clock is holding at T minus four minutes. Launch team is trying to verify why we had a master alarm. Apparently it was heard in the crew cabin. Start complete, three good APUs. Copy. SP, this is, uh, entity, this is SP. Go ahead, SP. Did we get a klaxon along with that master alarm, or is it just a master alarm? CDR. Just a master alarm. Go ahead, ISO. NTD used in flight last time to pick up is 858-01. And flight, I copy. And we concur. Get us copies. Discussions are underway at this time. ISL, entity on 212. ISL. Okay, can you uh, brief us on our status? Um, according to what we're seeing on PC Gold, it looks like it incurred at the same time hydraulic systems came up. Okay, and APU, entity? This APU. Okay, any uh, indications of anomalies during APU power up? Negative APUs look nominal. And CHYD, entity? Everything looked normal. Everything is normal now. NTD Houston flight concurs. We got three good APUs and hydraulic systems. Copy flight. And SCE NTD. Go ahead. Okay, any uh, thoughts on uh, where this master alarm might have originated from? No, I still says that it looks like coincided with the hydraulics. Uh, our recommendation, if hydraulics concurs, is to count down to 31 to give us more time while we have the opportunity to go look at the hydraulics and see if there was anything in it that might have took the uh, natural alarm. Okay, very good. And uh, CHYD in today? CHYD concurred. Con concur to go down to 31. One minute left to pick up. Go to 31, is that correct, HYD? That's affirmative. Go okay. to 31. Okay, very good. GLS, pick up the count on your mark, please. Copy. Let's just go for purge sequence four. And we have picked up the count. We will carry this count down to T minus 31 seconds and hold there if necessary if the reason for the master alarm sounding has not been resolved. Resume. We will plan to plan hold at T minus 31 seconds. And we only have about a minute to hold at T minus 31 seconds before we lose our window. T minus three minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. We're gimbling the engines at this time. The final aerial surface checks of the orbiter's wing, elevons, and rudder are also being completed. We're continuing our count as NASA prepares for the first of many visits to the International Space Station. T minus three minutes and counting. 
CPSC 212. Go ahead, CPSC. We talked to uh, ISL from all of this channel. Go ahead. SL CPSC. Oh, go ahead. Okay, yeah. they did caution warning volume adjust earlier. That's the uh, parameter select on I-13099. That's hydraulics, right? Just, uh, my question was just I thought if it wasn't returned back to 120, would that have caused the, uh, the alarm that uh, was seen? T minus 2 minutes, 30 seconds. The orbiter test conductor is requested that the pilot. 42 seconds at the uh, T minus 31 second mark. That the pilot clear the caution and warning memory system. Uh, 090130. An SPE entity. T minus 2 minutes, 4 seconds and counting. Everything continues to look good with the weather. Uh, the clear of caution and warning. Uh, can we perform that at this time at sub 11 We are continuing to address our caution and warning system. Yeah. And the plan will be to hold at T minus 31 seconds if that cannot be resolved. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Clear caution and warning memory and verify unexpected errors. Yeah. CLT and work. And APDI Bell, would you hold up on that? Okay, hold that. CLT, just hold that a minute. Yeah, OTC, I already hit the uh, clear on the uh, F7. Okay, copy that. And ISO and TD. Unexpected errors. I copy. And thank you, CDR. ISO and TD on 212. ISO. Okay, uh, are you converging on a, on a explanation or recommendation as far as it's not cool arm? Never OTC. Close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow at this time. T minus one minute and counting. ISL and on 212. We're transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Hey, do you have uh, any further update on uh, this master alarm? We can do the memory read on uh, C3 and uh, see what F7 shows. Okay, please proceed. Countdown clock is holding at T minus 31 seconds. And we're at T minus 31 seconds and holding as we continue to address our situation with the master alarm that sounded in the crew compartment. CDR, we'd already cleared the uh, memory read and we had no unexpected lights, uh, cabin atmosphere and hydraulic from previous. Copy that. Go ahead, NGDH, buddy. Go ahead. Yeah, nothing here. Everything looks nominal. NTD Houston Fly, we think it was system one. Go. We are go for launch. ISO concurs. And SPEs? And SPEs. ISO feel comfortable that it was a hydraulic and it was because of the system um, starting up. Got to pick it up, NTD. Affirmative. Okay, let's go. PLS, pick up the count on your mark. PLS, pick up the count on your mark. NTD. And we have a go. Copy that. And PLS, NTD. Yes, sir. We would pick up the count. We're at 24 seconds. Request cut off. Please cut off. Yes, sir. But safety is in progress. And we have had to cut off the countdown. We did not pick up the countdown in time. To meet our launch window. Cut off. All stations proceed to the recycle control sequence, sequence 18. Again, we have stopped the countdown clock at T minus 19 seconds. We were not able to pick up the count in time to meet the very end of our launch window. The orbiter access arm is being replaced around the Orbiter. One, two, and three are signed per sequence three. And safety operations are currently in work. CLTOTC perform APU shutdown. The APUs are being turned off at this time. And no MPS fire detector at this time. Vehicles in a safe mode, no concerns at this time. The astronauts are 